Hello you guys, welcome to Journey with Shar. I come to you today with a taste test. We're gonna try the mini spicy pumpkin samosas from Trader Joe's. I tried the veggie ones, they are fantastic. We're gonna have this today, mom and I, and we're gonna have it with the um, cheese and broccoli cheddar soup from Trader Joe's as well which um, it's a very thin soup it's not a thick soup but you can add whatever you want but mom and I love it just the way it is I think it's absolutely fantastic so we're gonna have that soup with these mimosas and let's get them on and this is the soup that we're going to have the unexpected broccoli cheddar soup sharp cheddar cheese unexpected cheddar cheese I guess I don't know what that means but yes and this is the nutrition facts and the calories and all that stuff that comes with it and mom and I are just we're not gonna eat this whole thing but we're gonna enjoy some soup with these samosas so the samosas come just like that in a little bag and it says on here um, and this is perfect for air fryers so I already have my parchment paper y'all this don't mind the pan the pan has been with me for many many years and so we're gonna take all these out because mom and I are just gonna make all these because it's really not that many. Mom and I are gonna eat all of these and I'm going to take them and place them in a single layer just like it said. And I heard that these were absolutely delicious and I just cannot wait to try them. So we're gonna get that in the oven and then we're gonna start preparing the yummy broccoli cheddar soup. So stay tuned. All right y'all, so that's what it looks like with the top off. And we're gonna go ahead on and add that in. Oh, it looks, I tasted it the other day, y'all. Mom and I really loved it. But you better believe she gonna get everything out of that container. So we're just gonna let this sit and come together. Now what you could do with this, this can be your base of a beginning of a soup that you don't have time to be sitting in front of, child. And you just wanna add, steam up some broccoli, a little bit more carrots, cut them up, honey, chop them on in there. You can add some extra cheese in there if you want it thicker. Or you can just eat it just like this. It is a little bit more runnier once it all comes together. But y'all, yeah, mom and I loved it and we thought it was really delicious. Even at the consistency it was. It wasn't real thick, but it was pretty, pretty good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna let this all come together. As you can see, it's got some broccoli bits in there. And you can, you can add extra cheddar and extra cheese. I don't need to add any more calories than what's already on that container. So we're gonna let this all come together, get warm. We're gonna let the samosas come together and then we're gonna do the taste test. So you all stay tuned for taste testing the unexpected broccoli cheddar soup and the sweet potato samosas. Okay, you guys, um, while I'm here, I wanna show you one more thing that we have tasted absolutely amazing. The organic garlic non crackers and this is what they look like and they are fantastic. These are fantastic, absolutely amazing. I give these two thumbs up. They are so good. And another thing that is good is their pumpkin biscotti. Oh my goodness. I had this with coffee last night along with their instant coffee. I don't do instant coffee, but since I've been at work, I'm like, I don't have time to get up now. I just need a quick, quick. Chow, she went and made some of this coffee for instant. It is fantastic. I give it two thumbs up. That flavor is there. That coffee taste you want. That strength. It was so delicious. And y'all know I use my layered super cream with that. But oh, it was absolutely amazing. So if you have not tried the instant coffee, if you're not an instant person, I'm not an instant person, but I did want something quick through the week. Child, let me tell you, don't you sleep on this instant coffee. And the biscotti, the pumpkin biscottis are absolutely delicious. So y'all make sure you check these two items out as well. Um, as well as the non-crackers. Okay, mama done took them and ran off. <laughs> All right, stay tuned. All right, you guys, so that's how they look. I flipped them over halfway during cooking and that's why they have that beautiful color. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna let these cool off and we're gonna dig in, so you guys stay tuned. And this is the Nam Cracker. cracker. So good, I'm gonna taste that for you right now. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Really, really delicious, you guys. Please try the Nam Crackers. These are so good. The Nam, is it Nam? Yes. 
the garlic non crackers are amazing. So delicious. All right, let me get this all plated up. You guys stay tuned. All right, you guys, so this is the soup. We just pulled it out of the, pulled it off of the oven. So I want you to see the consistency of it. So it's not as bad as some people make it seem like. It's just too runny. It's a good consistency for me. You can add more, like I said, veggies to this, add extra cheese, cream, whatever you want, but she don't want to add no more calories than what it already is. And I think that the soup is fantastic. So that is the consistency of the soup. And then we have the uh, sweet potato mimosas. I'm gonna bite into one of these. Mmm. It's a tiny little spice kick in there. Tiny little spice kick in there. Hope y'all can see that. Oh, it's good. It's not, it is delicious. I absolutely love it. And it's not sweet. It is literally savory, but you can tell it's pumpkin. And it's got that nice crunch. And oh my goodness, you got. Mmm. And I like to dip my mimosas sometimes just to make it a little bit more fun. Mmm. Fantastic. Gold star. Go start both of these are two thumbs up. Isn't that good? Wow. I'm going back to get more of these. So this is the coffee. All it takes, and it says it on the side, is one heaping teaspoon. It said teaspoon. Y'all put three tablespoons in this yesterday, and I had to doctor that up because child, she got the taste and that said, whoa, this is stronger than what it really is. So we're gonna put one teaspoon in there and another teaspoon in there. And I'm going to taste it to see if it's strong enough for me. Because I like for my coffee. Yesterday I had a tablespoon. And y'all, it is strong. Please do not sleep on thinking that you have to put a tablespoon in here. You need to do exactly what it tells you to do. Unless you really like strong coffee. I mean super duper strong. So we're going to go in here and get the layered super cream. I like to put two scoops in mine. Okay. Throw those two scoops in, and I'm gonna just stir that. Yes, yes, yes. And then what I'm gonna do, I only put a little bit of the blue agave in here. Now that's my work phone, excuse that. Okay, just a little skeet, that's it. Just a little squirt. Put that in there. And we got this delicious coffee. Now she's fixing to taste this. All that coconut is gonna come together and melt, y'all. But she, uh, this is really pretty good coffee. I'm telling you guys. And we're going to go half on one of these. Mommy, can you cut this in half? Because I am not trying to eat a whole one. I monitor myself with sweets. I'm doing this for y'all. And they go half perfectly. Okay. And you take this and just do a little dip in your coffee child. See the coconuts coming up to the top, which I love. Just like so. And it still has a snap. Mm, that is absolutely delicious. Okay, let me get this down. And that is the pumpkin biscottis. Okay, so that's it. And it gets thicker as you go. And it's still warm. Okay, so that is the unexpected, unexpected broccoli soup. Sharp cheddar which is absolutely amazing i love it this is the mini spicy pumpkin samosas just a little kick not too spicy and look how pretty they cook up the veggie ones are also fantastic and this is the instant coffee uh, 100 colombian instant coffee y'all let me tell you if you want something quick and can't get your coffee Maybe you're running late and you want something quick. This right here is amazing. And that is the, also the garlic nun crackers. Absolutely amazing. You can probably use some of these in the soup and I'm sure that that would be absolutely delicious. All right, so that concludes everything in this video today for the taste test. I hope you all enjoyed what you see. Whatever you were interested in wonder, how does this taste? How does that taste? Is that coffee good? Oh, are those crackers good? I hope that I can answer that question for you as well. All right, so thank you so much for tuning in. Everything was delicious. I absolutely love everything. I'll give them A plus, two thumbs up. All right, 
So thank you so much for tuning in to Journey with Shar. You all be blessed. And I hope everything is good in your neck of the woods and that you're staying safe. And uh, just pray that you continue to be blessed. And you guys remember, trust God, keep him first, and he'll always lead you in the right direction. I will be doing more haul, fall haul items from Trader Joe's. So stay tuned, all right? You guys be blessed, and I'll see you soon. Bon appetit. Bye-bye.